So you're two white guys. You want to hear from, my Werner? Yeah, Werner yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're two. You're two <laughs> Caucasians from Chicago. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Don't argue with me about that. Um, and you are entering, first of all, New York, which has its own rhythms and ways of being, and also a very um, specific um, uh, ethnic community um, with a different language. And I wonder if that proposed, I mean, I, I know that you've, you've certainly, and as documentary filmmakers, you do that, but this seemed like a particularly daunting task, and I wonder if it posed some particular Well, challenges. I am fluent in Cantonese and Mandarin. Did you know <laughs> Did that? Did not know that. No, I'm not. Um, uh, <laughs> Um, Only Shanghai's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I think the key in any of these situations, I mean, documentary filmmakers, I am not alone in this. We, we often go into communities that we are not from or a part of. Um, it's part of what we do. Uh, I think the key in this, for me, has always been two things. One is, is to try and do your very best to set aside your own assumptions and in this case, I knew very, you know, I knew very little about Chinatown. I mean, I'd been there as a tourist and when I go to New York to eat at a restaurant and stuff, but that was it. So I knew I knew next to nothing and was very aware of that. Um, but also, it, the key is the people that you were there with. And so the fact that Thomas Sung had embraced us to make this film and his stature in that community coupled with also important was Don Lee, the activist, because he was he was a very significant person in that community, and the fact that you know he supported what we were doing and allowed us to follow him around and be in the community with him, all of that spoke volumes in the community and allowed the access that we we did have. Um, I think that's key. It's like you outsiders can go into communities that they do not belong with, but they, they need to go in in the right way and with the right people in order to gain any kind of legitimate access, I would say. And but these are folks that you knew, so had you spent time in Chinatown in New York with them? No, I really hadn't spent that much time with, with them uh, in Chinatown. Instead, you know, it really had been a long-term relationship, and it wasn't until they got closer to the actual indictment and the trial that I finally um, really understood the magnitude of the consequences that they were, were facing. And as they started to tell me, even they didn't recognize that they were the only bank that was indicted for mortgage fraud. So I started to dig into it to say, there's got to be another bank. How could this be the only bank? And it just seemed um, just kind of hypocritical that the big banks weren't being prosecuted. And instead, this small community bank, which was serving an underserved community, was.